Fleur Britain was among the big names in action on day two of the Woody's DIY National Senior Indoor Athletics Championships. And there was plenty of entertainment on show for the crowd at the new Athlone IT venue. It's a hectic time for Fanula Britain, who's trying to marry the twin challenges of preparing for the European Indoor Championships in a fortnight's time and the World Cross Country three weeks later. This afternoon at Athlone IT, she lined up for the 1500 metres, eager to test her sharpness and to get a feel for an indoor championship. Britain tracked the leaders for the opening six laps before hitting the front with 300 metres to go, and she surpassed her own and her coach's expectations for the day with a turn of pace that saw her take gold with a personal best of 4 minutes 13.96, which left her happy that she is on track to perform well in the international events to come. Yeah, I think everything is going well so far anyway, and I suppose something like this just is a boost really, and it's nice to be able to do both because like speed like this is obviously going to help you in a cross country at the end, at the beginning, whatever. So it's you need the speed as well as the endurance, and it's kind of getting to work on both now. The one note of disquiet here was with the number of false starts and several disqualified athletes questioned the measurement of their reaction times. Kelly Proper benefited when Amy Foster and Ailish McSweeney were DQ'd from the 60 metres, which Proper won in 7.45, and she set her second PB of the afternoon and took her third gold of the championships when she won the 200 just 20 minutes later in 23.84. Brian Gregan is targeting the 400 metres at the European indoors, and he continued his good form in the 200 here. The event is not in the Europeans, but Gregan was commanding and winning in 21.33. In the men's 1500, John Coughlin made his first Irish senior medal a gold one when he pulled clear of Owen Everard to win in 3 minutes 47.43. Gary Moran, RTE News at the Athlone IT International Arena.